Welcome to the video series on academic and personal success in the Canadian classroom. Have you ever felt confused with another student's oral, written, or nonverbal messages in the classroom? This is one of the first differences you experience in a multicultural classroom. Classroom is a mosaic of culture. The rules of communication are also different. You have to be aware of them for your educational success. Have you heard the words high context or low context? In cultures of low context, like Canada and the US, information is communicated primarily through language and rules that are clear. The communication of emotion is also expressed through words. On the one hand, in cultures of high context, like many Latin American, Latin Europe or Asian countries, information is communicated not only through words, but also other parts like body language, personal status, and common knowledge. For example, many Japanese share their own common knowledge and communication, so only they ask a little words. They understand what the speaker wants and even feels. In Canada, we have a variety of cultural backgrounds, so we have to express our thinking by exact words. Depending on body language, this would sometimes cause conflict or trouble. Think about your group work. Your group members are from different countries. Look at how each culture communicates their thoughts. Let's use the example of playing catch. Two Japanese students will think, speak, throw the ball, the other Japanese student catches it, pauses, reflects, and throws it back. Canadians communicate in a similar pattern. One tosses the ball, the person catches it, and immediately throws it back. When you cross cultures, such as South Asian or South American, conversation is almost like volleyball. There is no pauses, and at times, they push the ball back before they even catch it. This is not a sign of disrespect, but a sign of respect, as they know where you are going, so they join in on the conversation. We have our own catch-the-ball rules for each culture, so when we are working in groups, we have to respect each other's rules and adapt to it. So in communication, I think curiosity is key. It's important to ask questions to clarify for understanding. Do this with your peers and your professors. If we don't communicate well with each other, this could lead to conflict in groups or with your colleagues. So adjusting our rules will make our communication smoother. Misunderstanding feedback or comments from teachers or students is another confusing point in the classroom. Just like catching the ball rules, many cultures provide and receive feedback in a very different way. As for Canadians, they wrap positive messages around negative ones. This is called the feedback sandwich. Canadians also express their feedback with neutral comments. Comments such as, that's a good point, I never thought of it that way, that's very interesting. These expressions sometimes confuse the listener or the reader. They might consider the feedback to be negative. Not sure where to stand academically? Again, ask questions to clarify. But before we react emotionally to a situation, take a deep breath and realize that this could be culture. Ask your teacher for clarification and don't hesitate. You may not be comfortable asking questions, but may I suggest as a new rule or cultural change, it is to ask if you are not clear of the communication. It will be better for all. This ends our video on the series of International Student Success. Please refer to the others to help you develop your academic and personal success in the Canadian classroom.